Okay, I'm here with Jonathan Brass, Property Week's global correspondent. Uh, Jonathan, this week saw a fairly significant move by British investors in Russia. Could you tell us what happened? Yeah, absolutely. Um, FF&P, the business uh, investment arm of uh, the Fleming family, um, has uh, signalled its intentions to sell uh, a large property portfolio in Russia. Um, they've slapped a 400 to $450 million uh, price tag on the portfolio and hired UBS to market the sale. And they're being advised uh, through the process by property veteran Raymond Mould. Um, so uh, quite a serious thing. And Jonathan, that's quite a substantial price. In your opinion, is this the right time to do this? Well, I think given when the, uh, they moved into Russia, which was the early noughties, uh, prices were, were a lot lower than they are now. Um, so they do stand to make quite a, uh, quite a profit to the tune of, uh, of around £125 million. Pounds. If they do achieve this, this will look like good business indeed. Um, it would also, I mean, a, pr- a price of, uh, of that magnitude would reflect a sort of a yield compression in the country of between uh, you know, 45 to 5% from when they first came in. So actually they, they'd, be, uh, they'd be smiling about that, I think, if they, if they achieve this. And in your opinion, should other British investors be following the Fleming's example and heading into Russia? Yeah, I think, uh, I think Russia is one of the few success stories uh, in, in global property at the moment. Um, the post-communist uh, economy uh, has, uh, is still in its infancy. It's not suffered too much as a result of the credit crunch. Um, uh, as many of the Russian banks never really got involved in, in, in subprime. Um, what was, I think, regarded as a, as a cowboy country, certainly at the time of, um, when the Flemings uh, uh, began investing there, is now considered uh, a little more mature, and I think a lot of other British investors have realised that there is real value to be had there. Um, other companies, for instance, that are, are investing in Russia or are looking to uh, include Raven Russia, uh, the AIM-listed outfit, uh, John Cutts is Park Ridge, um, and, uh, and and London and Regional uh, of the Living uh, of the Livingston brother Ilk. Um, they're, they're all active there, and I'm sure it won't be uh, too long before we see others follow. Brilliant, that's great. Thanks, Jonathan. And uh, remember, you can follow this and all other big property stories on PropertyWeek.com. Thank you. No problem.